this final instalment of our photo editing series, we're going to take you to a whole new level of fine tuning your photos, ready for sharing and being the envy of any photo finisher. So hopefully you've been busy editing your photos, but what if you're still not quite satisfied? Worry not, because we're going to give you the tools you need for the final tweaks. These little sliders here open up a whole new world. And personally, I start with the corrections tab and head straight into exposure. Remember, we are looking for minor adjustments rather than wholesale changes. Here you use the slider to make your adjustments. Then you can move along and adjust so many other elements in your photos, such as highlights and shadow detail, vibrance and depth of color. As you move along the tabs, one other tool I always love to use is Vignette. This allows you to lighten or darken the edges of your image, so that it helps draw your eye into the middle. And try feathering it so that it softens the gradient like this. Once you're completely satisfied, why not pop a border around it, or a virtual frame? This looks lovely. We promised in episode two that we'd show you how to create your very own filters. So look how easy it is. Just head back into the filters tab and click on my filters. Simply hit the plus button and give it a name. It will then appear as one of your filters forevermore. Finally, press this button in the top corner to check out all of your sharing options. Make sure you share. Thanks for taking part in this photo editing mini series. We hope that you got a lot out of it and continue to create amazing photos. Why not get in touch with us via our social channels? You'll see them in the links. Take care. <laughs>